honor and attachment is happening. So I'm honored to be here. I say that with much truth and much sincerity. I'm honored um, I love the Lord for Patrick's fault and his absence. Hallelujah. I'm grateful to be here. I don't know about you, but whenever I come to the house of the Lord, I'm Yeah. Here. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, that's right. I want to reach you if you just miss the prayer. No, 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 seriously. It doesn't have to be my house for me to be grateful because it's God's house. Yes. So, whenever there's an opportunity to set foot in this house, it gives you another chance to get it right. Whatever is not right, whatever is missing, whatever is lacking, it is a place of healing, it is a place of hope, it is a place of help. And so, I'm grateful. I'm so glad to be Especially when you're glad to be here. Can we say the honor of the word of the Lord in the book of Psalms, the first chapter? In the book of Psalms, the first chapter. And I promise you, I'm going to be as long as the Holy Ghost. Well, a lie. Praise the Lord. But I do not perceive. A lengthy death of praise. But I am going to obey them. I am going to obey them. Psalm in the first chapter. And I'm going to make sure that you read it with me because people want to say they are twisting the word of God. Yeah. The word to say things that it does not say. It to mean things that it does not mean. So with your educated self, I want to make sure you read what I read. Praise them. So that you get the same understanding. Praise them. Nor stand it in the way of sinners, nor sit it in the seat of the storm. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate in his light. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The other Yes, Lord. The ungodly are not so, but are like the shaft which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sit in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Father, we thank you for the meaning of your word. We ask that you increase even in this moment in the Lord God. Add a blessing, it's already added, but increase in us the blessing of God. That those who hear and do may be blessed in eternal grace, God, that keep us, protect us, and cover our hearts and minds, break up the power of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. He that had the fear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord has to say to the church. Not to uh, ignore the reason for our gathering, but to clarify as a believer in Christ. Clarify as a fellow brother in Christ. Uh, for those of you who feel called to teach, those of you who feel called to preach, clarify this walk just a little bit more for you. I have been led by the Holy Ghost to speak to you on this slide. I want you, I don't want you to jump to your neighbor, I don't want you to do that. I want you to talk to you. I want you to say, Self, Self. what will I become? What will I become? I want you to say that again. Say, self. Self. What will I become? What will I become? Now I want you to remind yourself. Say, self. Self. I need to watch where I sit. I need to watch where I sit. Come on. I want you to say that again. I want you to let that resonate. You say, self. Self. I need to watch where I sit. Why? Now, if I was you, this would be a good one for me to get up and look at where I'm sitting on, just to make sure I'm sitting in the right place. Because it's going to affect your journey from here on out. I want you to share with you about the Holy Ghost. I want to be as transparent about the Holy Ghost as I can concerning this walk. It is not, it is not something that you can take lightly. You know that. You've been saying that since you've been starting classes. It's not something to take for granted when God chooses you, even when God calls you. Because He calls and everybody going to respond. Yeah. You know, but it is something to consider when God sees fit to call you to teach and call you to preach and call you to lead and to guide and to dictate and to judge. Oh, we don't like that word. But to judge, praise him. It's, 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 a, it's a task, it's an assignment.
assignment. And it's not something that we can take lightly. And yet, in this day and age, we are living in a world filled with preachers, oh, filled with prophets, filled with apostles, filled with teachers, filled with elders, filled with ministers. Oh, my God. 
I can't give it to you no more. I love you. I love you with the love of Christ. I really do. And I want you to understand that the chastening of the Lord is for our benefit. Praise Him. Yeah. He chastens those He loves and praise Him. And for you to be encouraged to understand that you actually do have a choice to make. You're not walking into this blind blindness. No, He's giving you an opportunity to choose life for that. A choice that you might not have been able to make last year, two weeks ago. Now He's got you in such a space. You ready to go to roll? You got your pocket. They're going to give you some other things, praise him. And you're going to be able to say, oh, this is for you. Am I going to be blessed or am I going to be cursed? Huh? The punishment is not worth it at all. <laughs> it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. You got all to say yes, so you might as well go all the way. Amen. You might as well go all the way. And you can go all the way. You got the Holy Ghost. You can go all the way. You got power. Oh, come on now. Don't we got power? We just celebrate Pentecost. We don't know that God got with us for one day. 